shows in high power where the celebrities go. I'm LA County Jail. All right, I got eyes on him. Shout out to my homeboy, Mont Deuce from Devil Lanes. You know, like all my, I, I, my whole record was violence. Blueface's father just dropped a bombshell whack 100 is allegedly plotting to harm Blueface. Can you believe it? Sources say Blueface has been defying wax control, leading to his recent stint in prison. With his career hanging in the balance, rumors suggest Wack might be scheming to cash in on Blueface's music sales after his demise. From secret courtroom reunions with his family to shocking insider details, this video reveals all the juicy drama you won't want to miss. Tune in to uncover the scandal that's shaking up the rap world. Yeah, it's the wild I've ever seen. Right. Honestly, and I feel like it gets crazier. As the story unfolds, it's clear that Blueface's entanglement in legal troubles is only deepening. Blueface, born Jonathan Porter, turned himself in back in January after multiple legal issues, including an attempted homicide charge from an incident in Las Vegas. Who told you I was coming here? Whack. <laughs> whack. <laughs> well, yeah. That whack. According to reports, the altercation began over a bad joke about the rapper's vehicle, which escalated quickly when Blueface allegedly fired shots at the man's truck. Despite his defense, the charges were serious enough to land him behind bars. Interestingly enough, it was WAC 100 who confirmed Blueface's surrender on social media without providing any details. This cryptic behavior left fans and followers in suspense, but it was Blueface's mother, Carlissa Saffold, who shed some light on the situation. She blamed the rapper's baby mamas, Jaden Alexis and Christian Rock, for stirring trouble that led to his arrest. The turmoil within Blueface's personal life was already making headlines, but his time in jail only fueled more drama. I'm letting y'all know the fans know Blueface all right, all right? Well, uh, spread the word, Blue's right, he ain't been stabbed up, he ain't been... Fast forward to a few weeks ago, Blueface's father, Jonathan Porter SR, visited his son in jail and emerged with shocking claims. He broke his silence after a month, alleging that WAC 100, Blueface's manager, might be plotting something sinister. Could it be that WAC 100, seeing his control over Blueface slipping, is considering a drastic move to regain power? According to Porter SR, there's more than just professional tension between the rapper and his manager. He insinuated that WAC's recent attempts to manipulate situations, including a fight that Blueface got into in jail, might be part of a larger, more dangerous plan. Because it was a probation violation, right? Yeah. Because he went back to Vegas? He wasn't supposed to go? He went back to Vegas. Well, he went, I told him to stay out of Vegas. We were fighting the attempt to this leads us to the question, is Blueface's life truly in danger? Porter Sar hinted that WAC 100's influence over the rapper has always been heavy-handed, but now it seems to be bordering on lethal. In the scuffle in jail, which WAC downplayed as just a little fight might have been orchestrated to send a message. He had a little fight, a little scuffle, that's it. We all know Blueface know how to fight, right? Just the fight. County jail, it happens. What no one expected was for Porter Sar to come forward with such grave accusations, suggesting that WAC 100's intentions are far more malicious than anyone realized. Blueface's situation in jail is precarious. He's not just dealing with legal battles, but also with the constant threat of being manipulated or worse by those who should be looking out for him. Could it be that WAC 100 sees Blueface as more valuable deceased than alive, aiming to capitalize on posthumous music sales and the resulting publicity? As the narrative deepens, Jonathan Porter SR dots concerns about WAC 100 take on an even darker tone. WAC 100, whose real name is Cash Jones, has a notorious reputation in the hip hop industry, and his past is littered with controversy and allegations. Notably, his incendiary remarks about the late Nipsey Hussle and his combative interactions with other celebrities have painted him as a figure not to be trifled with. But is there more beneath the surface? Okay, so when did you start getting arrested then? 12 years old. One insider revealed that WAC 100's control over Blueface extends far beyond typical managerial duties. The power dynamic has always been skewed, with WAC allegedly using his street smarts and intimidating presence to keep Blueface in line. Could it be that WAC sees Blueface's rebelliousness as a direct threat to his authority, prompting these drastic measures? This leads us to wonder just how far WAC is willing to go to maintain his grip on the young rapper. Interestingly enough, WAC 100's criminal background isn't just a collection of youthful indiscretions. His affiliations with gangs like the Pyro Bloods and his time served in Soledad State Prison for violent offenses add layers of credence to Porter SR Dot's alarming claims. Wax's self-proclaimed status as a savage and his unfiltered, often aggressive public persona only served to underscore the potential danger Blueface might be facing. Remember, that name in those days meant something totally different than what it meant these days. Wax 100's manipulative tendencies aren't just confined to his professional relationships. Other celebrities have accused him of exploiting and controlling those around him. Meek Mill, for instance, 
publicly criticized Wack for influencing younger gangs and manipulating situations for his benefit. This pattern of behavior suggests a man who thrives on power and control, raising the stakes of Porter SR Dot's accusations. Could it be that Blueface is merely a pawn in WAC 100's larger game? With Blueface's career now teetering on the edge, the possibility of WAC orchestrating events to benefit from the rapper's potential demise isn't entirely far-fetched. This chilling notion gains more weight considering WAC's history of controversial statements and actions, which have often stirred public outrage and suspicion. That day I went on the run for the first time and got my first job in the, in the game, which, did, which I wasn't selling. I got fired, my brother fired me. In a shocking twist, fans have been pointing out WAC 100's controversial behavior for quite some time, especially considering his tumultuous relationship with everyone around Blueface, with Chrissy and Rock being a prime example. WAC 100's long-standing feud with Chrissy and Rock has added fuel to the already blazing fire of controversy surrounding Blueface's imprisonment. WAC 100 has never shied away from expressing his disdain for Chrissy and Rock, often blaming her for the setbacks in Blueface's career. In his recent interviews with Vlad TV, WAC hinted that Blueface's incarceration was a direct result of ignoring his advice and instead listening to Christian. I told him to stay out of Vegas, but he didn't listen. She pushed him to go back, and now look where he is, WAC remarked. This clear frustration highlights how WAC perceives Christian as a disruptive force, steering Blueface away from his professional path and into legal troubles. I didn't understand it, but that's what made me understand that Blueface is really in love with this woman. Interestingly enough, Chrissy and Rock recently moved back into Blueface's house, a decision that has not only shocked fans but also sparked a fresh wave of criticism from WAC 100. In an Instagram story, Chrissy revealed her move, leading WAC to comment, we will see about this. That is my home he did not tell you. His reaction is telling, showing how deeply entrenched he is in Blueface's personal life, viewing Chrissy's presence as a threat to his control. Who my man is this? Only thing I'm saying is this. What? Can we keep the personal indoors and off camera? This leads us to the question, is WAC 100 genuinely concerned about Blueface's well-being, or is his opposition to Christian a sign of deeper, more sinister motives? One insider revealed that WAC's opposition to Christian isn't just about business. There's speculation that WAC fears losing his grip over Blueface, especially as Christian grows closer to him. This closeness was evident when Christine changed her Instagram profile picture to Blueface and openly declared her support for him during his legal battles. As the narrative deepens, it becomes clear that WAC 100's fear of losing control is not unfounded. Blueface and Christine's relationship, though tumultuous, has displayed moments of solidarity that threaten WAC's dominance. This was particularly evident in their interactions on the Zeus Network show, Crazy in Love, where WAC confronted the couple about their relationship, labeling it as bad for business. Hold that. Just handle it, Wacky. Handle it. You're not communicate with me. You still, can you keep the personal? Could it be that WAC 100 sees Crazyan as a formidable obstacle to his control over Blueface? WAC's allegations against Crazyan have only escalated over time. Recently, he accused her of trying to put a hit on Blueface, sharing supposed text messages where Crazyan allegedly conspired to harm Blueface and his family. Whether these claims are true or not, they certainly paint a picture of a power struggle that goes beyond mere business conflicts. She never showed any signs of being responsible or, or even maturity. She was just figuring it out. So as a man... Interestingly enough, despite WAC 100's public denunciations, Blueface seems to remain loyal to Christian. This loyalty was put to the test when Blueface got into a bloody altercation with Christian's father, defending her honor in a heated exchange. This act of solidarity, however dramatic, highlighted the deep bond between Blueface and Christian, a bond that WAC 100 has repeatedly tried to sever. As the tension escalates, WAC 100's control tactics appear more desperate. In his confrontations with Christian, he has not only criticized her influence, but also threatened to expose damaging information about her. In one particularly menacing post, WAC warned, Christian, say my name one more time, and I am going to let the world know why I never messed with you. This veiled threat raises the stakes, suggesting that WAC is willing to go to great lengths to protect his interests and maintain control. I don't, I don't think Rock is, uh, she's not manageable. Yeah. <laughs> Could it be that WAC 100's attempts to undermine Christian are driven by a fear of losing his hold over Blueface entirely? The rapper's increasing closeness to Christian, despite all odds, seems to indicate that WAC's grip is slipping. This power struggle is not just a personal vendetta, it's a battle for control over Blueface's future, both professionally and personally. Interestingly enough, Blueface's legal troubles have only intensified this battle, 
with Blueface behind bars, WAC 100 has taken every opportunity to point fingers at Christian, suggesting that her influence is the root cause of the rapper's downfall. However, this narrative overlooks the possibility that Blueface's decisions, though influenced by his tumultuous relationship with Christian, are ultimately his own. Mentally there to understand how life works, how the law works, how this shit works. So I did my part. All I think I could do is tell you. This leads us to the question, is Blueface's loyalty to Christian a sign of defiance against WAC 100's control? One thing is certain this drama is far from over. The ongoing conflict between WAC 100, Christian Rock, and Blueface continues to unfold, with each new revelation adding layers to an already complex story. As fans and followers, we can only watch and speculate, wondering how this power struggle will ultimately play out. And there you have it. The drama surrounding Blueface, WAC 100, and Christian Rock continues to unravel with shocking twists and turns. Do you think WAC 100 is genuinely concerned for Blueface's well-being, or is he just trying to maintain his control at all costs? And what about Christian Rock? Is she a disruptive influence or a supportive partner? We want to hear your thoughts. Leave your comments below and join the conversation. Until next time, stay tuned and stay curious.